welcome here to the channel Firefly Gaming here, aka Making Sticky Flowers. Now, in some of the parts, I'm gonna be a context and a character, but then in other parts, I'm gonna break at a character. I'm gonna be doing some showcasing here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Indeed, I'm gonna be doing some showcasing here. I started a new server now. Maybe one day I may try to make it public. I'm not saying that's gonna be for certain. Um, but if I get it good enough, maybe I will, you know, type deal. Um, I've done a lot to the server, I've learned a lot, and there's only one thing I messed up in, which you'll see towards the end, but basically, um, I did a lot of modding to the game with cars, uh, map mods, and, um, you name it, plus I got the graphics mods for 5M, so it just looks amazing, so we're gonna go check out some buildings and some MLOs and some things that I've done differently here in Grove Street, then we're gonna go move along to two other parts in the city that I put some um, MLOs in, you know, um, I thought I had some other MLOs here, they may not be working properly, I'm gonna have to go through which ones I know are a check mark and are green and good to go, and then mark the ones that you know are not good to go and you know take those out of the server because you know why have them in if they're not working type deal so without further ado let's get on with the ride because I ain't going in my mercury ladies and gentlemen I ain't gonna buy me a mercury and create it up and down the road if I had money i tell you what I did I went downtown bought a mercury or two raise a better mercury <laughs> Mickey's crazy about a Mercury. When he's crazy about a Mercury, he's gonna cruise it up and down the road. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy for Mickey, it's gentlemen. <laughs> oh shit. Let's get out of this fucking place. <laughs> so, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're gonna be going showcasing um, two mods out here in Grove Street. One of them, which it's kind of hard to tell I mean but if you look there the mod said that I had it uh palm trees out here in you know Grove Street I'm not sure if these palm trees were here before or wasn't I don't really do too much RP but I know these trees have to be what new what not new it was supposed to add trees and palm trees and stuff out here to you know Grove Street make it a little different you know and I'm trying to find the app the, the five them ready uh, white map so I could put you know nothing other than you know trees out in the sandy and whatnot you know but we're gonna go check out this first mod right here so this first mod right here is a mod that I found as I've been going through the GTA 5 website and looking for 5 and ready mods I would wish I could know how to do the ones that you know are DLC but you know eventually but yeah so here's the first house yeah shit the fact what the fuck? The tree's going through? That's not legit. Yeah, shit, bro. You know, it's probably that tree I did fucking did that. You know, what the fuck? You got a fucking TV in the wall? I mean, the fucking thin, one of those thin cats for this fucking you got, like, the kitchen area. It's a little, you know, it's not the best, but, you know, you get what you get when it's free, I guess, right? Because, you know, if I was to fucking come to take this place, fuck those guys up there. I ain't gonna do shit to me. I, I call it idiot, you know? We'll take care of them, you know? This could be my fucking house if I wanted to. But I don't want this guy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did they have a oh, shit? They got a fucking TV in the fucking bathroom? Man, that's fucking... That's fucking... That's wild. <laughs> that house is pretty decent, ladies and gentlemen. It's not my the best. There's some uh, issues and glitches with the house, you know? And... You know? But hey, you get what you get for free, and you, know, you just you can't throw a fit really. But hey, that's nice. It adds a house to Grove Street. Now I know uh, I want to try to find some more like, MLOs for Grove Street. I know that there's one that, um, I know Jeff Fabiano for OCRP, they have basically where the underground, there's like an underground base, and all those houses are accessible in the houses. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. So. We are going to move on, and we're going to go showcase another mod here that I have, and then there's one more that was showcased after that that's in the city, um, but basically, um, Jesus, but basically I don't have too many mods in the city, um, city is 
not going to be out of context where I'm going to want to do RP the most. My opinion, I mean, it's just my opinion, but my opinion, I think that, you know, Blaine County is better. And if you could just populate Blaine County and make it, you know, very popular and populate it with MLOs and whatnot, which I do got quite a bit of MLOs out there. You'll be surprised on how good you can make, you know, Sandy look and Guido and Grapeseed. And that's my, that's my future plans on this development or something. Now, if I could get everything good and running properly like I would want it to, then yeah, you know, then of course, I would, you know, go make it public, you know. So, we're going to go check our next mod. Um, I know it's... Right over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. Oh shit. But, I knew that I put a bunch of locations down in this fucking, fucking paper I wrote trying to figure out where things are in this fucking place. Don't know where fucking Dickie's at. I, last time I remember, I got out of jail and whatnot. And he went to go get an Uber and car, and then they took me back in, and then they put me on the bus and sent me out here, man. I was in jail for like six more months. Fucking bullshit. But yeah, it's like, look at this place. So this is a mod I found on the GTA 5. And I thought it looked pretty cool. And whatnot, you know. So I downloaded it. And, you know. Hi, what's going on? You're here to order some bear what What you doing over here? Yeah, well, I'm just in here just looking at the place, man. Oh, so you're not going to order it in the bar? Well, well, I'm driving, man. I got my Mercury out there, man. It thing's nice. Crazy about a Mercury, man. I ain't gonna wreck that thing, you know? Things fucking classic, man. I wish that that company never went in a business. These are fucking good cars. I mean, actually, all cars back in the day were good. They had shapes and models and dancing cr crews and all that, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I got an old truck out there. Well, you know. Oh, what you doing out here? They're looking around? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just looking around, man. Oh, well, you got a boss out there. Uh, well, can I look around? Did I buy something? I've never been here before. Yeah, I'm, new to, I'm new to the county. Oh, you know, the, you know, you know the zero code? Oh, yeah, we're in Michigan, buddy. Yeah, uh, shit. You're in Michigan? Oh, yeah, we're in Michigan, buddy. Well, you, you can look around, you know. Just don't steal it there. I'll call the cop. Uh, all right, man. I'm not going to steal anything. Let's just have the bathroom. Yeah, shit. That's pretty nice. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, shit. Get a Jubax over here. Yeah, shit. Ah, oh, I don't like that money in the Jubax and it's got one with the rain. Don't rock the Jubax, you know? I want to hear some jokes. Oh, uh, okay, man. I'm sorry, man. I, I won't rock the Jubax so you can hear some Jones. Jeez. He's just yelling at me, man. Oh, I don't know. You said you're working a bar, what? You said at the end, so uh, the, uh, you can't be out here to walk around. I'm sorry, man. Hey, what's that back door for? It? Oh, what are you doing outside? I don't want to lead you to the garage that we have. Yeah, can I go check it out? What? Oh, no, I wouldn't suggest you go about that. I'm just going to go check it out. I'm not going to do anything, man. I promise I ain't going to steal nothing. Oh, right, but I'll steal it now. Hey, man, hey, what? Oh, shit. Oh, by the way. Yeah. It's going in, man. I don't, the, the other door there, don't go down there, all right? What, why is there? I just said, don't go, don't go down there. If you don't know want to go back for you, don't go down there, all right? Oh, shit. Well, you mind if I just, like, walk out the garage and take a smoke real quick and then come back in? Oh, no, that's fine. You just, you, you're not going downstairs, are you? Nah, man, I'm just going to go smoke. All right, man. Oh, you better not be lying. I'm not lying, man. Fuck. Oh, shit. Let's see what the fucking rack looks like. Oh, shit. I know what's in that fucking door. Fuck. Let's go look. Oh, shit. It's down here. Oh, shit. Is this what he's fucking worried about? It's just, it's just a downstairs area, man. I ain't empty down here. Oh, wait. What's in that door? Probably a closet or something. See that light? Oh shit, it is. Oh fuck. There's stairs that go down here. Oh shit. 
Oh shit, fuck. I found the jackpot. Oh shit, fuck. There's weed everywhere. Oh fuck. This is why he didn't want me to come back here. Oh shit, he even got like. Oh fuck. Just let me, uh, just let me take a little and put it in my pocket, you know. Oh shit, it's bagged up and everything. That's what he doesn't smell, I mean. I mean then again, it just smells like aqua, so I didn't be fine, but fuck, man. It's fucking nice down here, man. Fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm back, man. Oh, okay, well, how, how'd you like the grounds and whatnot? Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Oh, I like, well, what, 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 what did you smoke out there? Cause you kind of smell like, you smell like weed, man. Nah, man, I don't smoke. Where do I go downstairs? Do you? Downstairs? You, you tell me not to go downstairs, man. Oh, okay, well, did, well, did, did you see all the weed out there? Yeah, man, I saw the, <coughs> I mean, no, 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 what are you talking about? Oh, you see a lot, you lot. You lied a bit. Now, now, now I gotta call the cop. You gotta catch me. That's a le- oh, no, no. We're busy. We're a lot of girls. So uh, we got a lot of for that, buddy. You're, you're, the, you're the good neck of the woods, but you're the wrong neck of the woods because you went out there and told that court out there. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, I'll call the cop. Yeah, but I'm leaving. I don't live. I, where are you going? I'll call the cop. Motherfucker. See, he's going to catch. Hi, what are you doing? Get back here. Hi, where are you going? I, I, I'll, I'll call because he's in a, he's in a yellow burger. Yeah, shit, fuck. Look at that out of there, man. That's what, that guy's fucking crazy. It's fucking wild. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, oh shit. Hello? What are the hopes? What's going on, dog? Oh shit, Eddie? Is this you? Is that you? Yeah, Holmes, what's going on, dawg? Hey, shit, uh, not much. Yeah, well, uh, I heard what happened at that bar. Uh, the, the cops the cops are out there looking for you, dawg. They don't know that you were the yellow marker. I went there and I, I, I killed the guy before that could happen. And I found all that weed out there. And now, and now we, 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 we just stood standing up for the cops came. The cops came and I told them that it was a red bush day. Oh uh, shit, uh, thanks man. Yeah, no problem dawg, but you need to take that weed you got. You need to drop it off and whatnot. That stuff too hot. And then we'll, we'll hook you up later. We'll, we'll give you better stuff than what you got there. This stuff is not za. I got not. It, it's a perp skirt to hold that. Nah, we'll hook you up with some za, dawg. Are our hopes? Oh uh, shit, alright man. Well, what do you want me to drop you off? I'm gonna text the location that there's a little spot at Bear Park. Oh shit, I'm in there park right now. Alright, well you I will send you the location. You just go dog, alright? Click. No oh, fuck you just hung that me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm right here, bro. No way. Oh shit. I got a look. Oh, fuck. I don't want to park in the red zone. I won't get towed. This is Mercury, bro. Crazy about it, Mercury. Hey, shut up, man. Better not hit my fucking Mercury, I swear to God, dog. Yeah, she ain't got me towed like fucking idiot now. <laughs> Just gotta jump the fucking fence. It's locked. You said these people don't play. He told me to just walk right in. He said it's gonna be a little like sketchy in the inside, but he said just don't worry about it. Yeah, that's what the text says. Alright, I'm just gonna walk on in. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh shit, what the f- it's like, it's like a fucking maze. Oh shit, what the fuck? It's like a fucking maze. Oh shit. Oh, shit, that's fucking, this is nice. Oh, shit. Got a pool table and everything? Uh, just drop it up right here, then. Oh, shit. 
a nice little hideout, you know, hiding from the cops, you know. And then you got these uh, small, like, little walls, so if they try to come in and try to, you know, try to come get you and whatnot, and like, shit, what's that nice little place? So, uh, stairs are this way, fuck. I haven't been here before. Yeah, shit, that's fucking nice in the inside, bro. I wish they could get you out of this with me, man. Yeah, shit, fuck. I'm gonna get onto the highway and try to see if I can make it out of the city, man. Uh, negative. So. You know I don't watch TV. What's happened to you? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So now we are gonna Saturday? leave none other than the city. That, and this is yeah. where the end of uh, the MLOs I have for the city are at. Later, I did have a few other ones, but where the locations I thought that they showed it was at, they're not there, so they may not be working because. There's supposed to be a dispensary in Grover Street, and where one of those buildings are when you go down towards like the cul-de-sac, and it wasn't there. So we're gonna head out to the county, and then showcase some more there. So see you there. Yeah, shit, I finally made it out here to the county. Yeah, nice. Yeah, fuck. And now we're out here in the county, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, I got. Some MLOs that, I mean, I haven't discovered or found. I, I mean, they say that they're out here somewhere. Maybe they're not working. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, as I say, I'm all new to this or whatnot, you know. But, you know, I know I got a lot of mods that are working that are out here in Sandy. And I'm going to showcase some of them now. I do have a few that's going to be in Pluto, but one of them I got right here is a drag strip. Oh shit, fuck, what's this, bro? Turn my brakes on. Oh, yeah, just turn my brakes out, but it's fucking great. Oh shit, bro, this fucking drag strip. Oh shit, bro. I guess he would start right here. There's the, there's the person that was standing with the flag, you know? It's like the old days, not the new drag strip, so you know. No, oh, fuck it. Alright, we'll count down. Three. Two, one. See how fast we can get this thing going, bro. It's a mercury, bro. Yeah. We made it over a hundred. Oh, shit, the brakes are still good in this. Oh, shit. There's no drag strip, and then this is where we go exit everything. That's pretty fucking cool, man. Hey, a drag strip out here. Be nice, you know. Me and Dickie come out here and take some cars that we got in storage one night and bring them out. And I found my fucking Mercury, man. I had to, I had to pull this thing out, man. I didn't even know it came out of the zero code and stored this thing in the garage. And apparently I did when I said I remember. Apparently it was like back in like the 80s or early 90s. Gosh, that was really crazy, dude. But yeah, that's fucking nice. Oh hey, shit, what's this? The fucking. Flywheels? Oh, fuck. And this is another location I have. It is a Flywheels. It's probably one of the older versions of Flywheels, but, you know, I I wanted something different, you know, and it removes the gas pumps here, so, you know, I kind of like that better, because if you want to go get gas, you know, go to the gas station. Although it says gas, but, you know, you could just say that you come here and buy a gas can. That, that's what gas means, you know. But, Maybe I might get a different flywheels. I don't know. I kind of like this one, in my opinion. You know. It just... It's simple. It gets rid of the pumps there. You don't got no people accidentally nonsense of accidentally hitting it. Got a nice little, you know, office here. Oh, shit. This, this is fucking nice, bro. Oh, welcome to the fly, bro. Do you need a car fix? SA? Oh hey, shit, who are you? Oh, my name is Gail and I work here at the car shop. I work here at Flywheels, hopes. If you did that mercury fix, I, I could junk it for you that day's trash. That thing's that fucking trash. Fuck you, dude. I don't want your fucking business. I never get in this fucking place. Call my fucking mercury trash. Fucking better than probably what the fuck he owns. Fucking piece of shit. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. 
come out here and try to apologize. Good fucking piece of shit. Oh shit, there's lights right here. That's fucking crazy. Oh shit, and there's a billboard that says welcome to Sandy. So these are uh, another mods I have out here for Sandy. It basically puts street lights here for, you know, on Joshua and that sign uh, says welcome to Sandy Shores. So it changes the sign. Now I have a few other mods that are out here in Sandy. Um, not too many, but I got a few other ones that I'm gonna, you know, showcase before we head down to Polito. I, I haven't found any for uh, Grapeseed yet, or anywhere towards, you know, 68, but, you know, we'll eventually you find some, but this next one is actually a gas station that is a mod, and it gets rid of all the GTA cars that spawn here, so when I eventually put in some scripts and get a gas script up and running, then people could come here, you know, and there's actual gas station that could be put in and whatnot, you know, um, and people can, you know, gas up, you know, a little bit script more than what the normal would, but you can walk in and buy it. So, that's going to be some chaos in the future if I ever do get better at what I'm doing and get to server public for everyone to join. Because then there could be someone doing 24-7 um, working, and then someone's, you know, working at the gas station to when they see, hey man, hey, come over here, man, and I'll do it cheaper. You just come over here, you know. <laughs> That'll be some chaos for the cops. Oh shit, fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. This place is nice. I always thought they should put a fucking convenience store at this gas station, you know? But it's not the same gas station that I think I remember from, you know, Scott Valley, but you know. It kinda looks the same. Everywhere I go kinda looks the same. Oh shit. Oh shit. I bet you that's just the exits. I mean, it's pretty nice. Yeah, let's uh, continue on with uh, seeing what else is out here in Zero Code. Alright, so we're going to continue things on. Now, I have plans for the future where there is a um, mod I want to get. And let's go in the be basically Mickey's movie hangout like it was in Scott Valley, but it is going to be a uh, upgraded version of Mickey's movie hangout, and in my opinion, better than the one Scott Valley had, even though the only thing I liked about what they had is it had a house on top. I thought that was cool, Mickey and Dickie, they got their own house, you know, and then the convenient, there was a bar underneath, and that's what became, you know, my bar eventually, you know, but other than that, out here, I mean, I know that there is supposed to be a Coke lab somewhere. I don't know exactly where that's at. Um, I have some other ones that I believe that are out here that I cannot find. Um, which is kind of, you know, like depressing in a sense. But another one I have right here is I have the Sandy Shores, um, you know, um, where you go to d and whatnot, you know, and get your stuff. Oh shit, I gotta get some fucking gas, man. Yeah, I'm gonna use these pumps over here, man. This one's a better. Oh shit. You gotta fucking turn the set in here, man. And if you, uh, come over here, we have, um, the updated Polito Bay gas station where not only, even though I got MBE, so technically this place was never existed, but there was an open sign there, so the person who created the MBE put the open sign there and whatnot, so when I go to open it, as you see, obviously, this ain't supposed to be an MLL type deal, you know, but basically turns it into a 24-7, you know, just a little updated with wood textures and whatnot, you know. Why is that garage open? That's weird. I'm gonna go see why the fuck. Why the fuck? Why is it open? Hey dude, you need a fucking. It's on, chump! Oh, you wanna fucking. You wanna dodge me? Moron! 
me a picture of fucking garage. You scared me. I thought someone was fucking stalking me, dude. Oh shit, there's people on here too. Hey, you guys can calm down. You didn't see nothing. You like the other guys. Just cool, calm, and collect, man. Oh shit, bro. Got a fucking place where we could get our cars fixed and whatnot. Good to see you. Oh, we got, we got the dicks. <laughs> That's what he said, right? <laughs> and then the dicks and the tricks. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, technically, that shouldn't be just for the tricks because, I mean, even though this is the dicks, you know? <laughs> Where's our fucking toilets? What if I gotta take a shit? You're telling me I'm gonna pull over and not be able to take a shit? Fuck that nonsense. I'm gonna fucking just walk in there. Women in there or not. I'm fucking, I'm sorry. And if I ate some taco hell or something, just, you know, I'm just gonna just blow it up, you know? And I don't, hey, the men's bathroom of that, and you know, they don't got no stalls in there. It's just the urinals. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, shit. We got a key lock right here. It's fucking dope. Well, this is fucking nice, man. There's another place. The hen house. I knew that there's a few other places. I'm looking for another. There's another key lock place that's out there. This is the hen house. Now, I put this version of the hen house in because for all of you that don't know, when the version of any MLO is not here, you drive by and there's music playing from the inside. So this is supposed to be a dance club. So obviously this looks like what a dance club looks like. You got, you know, the DJ area right there. And this is the whole entire dance floor. Now obviously I gotta go to the stairs to get down there because I mean oh, I could just jump over and get kicked out. <laughs> but yeah, basically yeah, this is where you dance. Technically, I mean, if this was a good enough MLO and that guy was fancy enough to be able to do it. Floor is, I guess, supposed to light up. Oh, yeah. This is supposed to be a dance club, and it's different. But before we end it, so I'm gonna showcase some of the cars, but before we end it, when I do showcase these cars, it's gonna be my intro music playing and just me show, showcasing the cars and whatnot. But yeah, basically, um, this is going to be fun, ridiculous, zero code roleplay. Which, if you ever watched Bay Area Bugs, uh, Jeff Fabiano and even Paul Cat back in the day even though I don't really watch him anymore when they left he just got boring and then more dark stuff about him came out and if more people are saying the same things compared to just that one person trying to defend himself then and he even left his own community because of that and yeah you know yeah it just you know it is what it is type deal, but they did something back in the day, and it was called Code Zero, which was a group of friends, and say there was five people in, and five of them was playing together, one would be a civilian, and four of them would be cops, and then they would do goofy scenarios, and then like two traffic stops, two, three traffic stops, making the third one being the one where it escalates, but just dumb cops, dumb civilians, the first two traffic stops, Cops get kind of curious and suspicious, but then the third one, depending on, say, like, I had a gun in the back of this car and whatnot, in the back of my bed, I had one of those GTA cars, and then, you know, they say, you know what, we've been hearing gunshots, you keep on saying this is a decoration, and the cop's like, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the dummy cop, you know, goes up there and sees it is, gets up there, and I'm like, hey, man, what are you doing in the back of my bed, get off of that, man, the fuck, dude, don't touch that, and then they shoot off, and it goes, through and then they're like, oh, that was a round, dude, that, that was real, and, and it blows up or something, say it was like a grenade or one of those heavy um, machine guns where it's got the missiles that like impact like a fucking grenade when it hits, you know? Like, you know, that shit's wild, you know? I mean, it would be funny because you get pulled over twice, you try to make excuses, you know, third one, then, you know, the cop, one of the cops decides, you know, let me see if he's done it. And then it's like, hey, get off, man. And then. They tell you to step out, you run, and you get go on the pursuit for like 5-10 minutes, and then after like the 5 minute mark, maybe the cops will, you know, per not actually pitch you, I mean, if you if you crash and whatnot, that's on you, and eventually I'll have like a script mod in here where your vehicle can get damaged and whatnot, and, and other scripts, and 
to make it even more legit, even gas scripts and whatnot. So that way you don't got gas, you can run out. That's on you, buddy. You know, type of deal. But basically, it's going to be where it's a group of friends, and we basically, you know, have some nonsense with ridiculous, fun, ridiculous, you know, RP for zero code. And zero code is basically going to be zero, you know, like code zero at night, you know, or whatever, what they or bugs did, but, you know, reversed and whatnot, and there will be cops, and then there will be civilians, and eventually, the max I probably want to have would be, you know, at least 10 people, so that way, you know, we could probably have, like, you know, four civs, you know, do a scene, if not, we could have, like, two civs, or even one civ, and then nine cops just happen to show up you're like oh man what are this all these cops showing up but that would be the max i would allow and want to have inside of this but in, in reality five people is good enough in my opinion you you, you have five people one person is a civilian and then as i say you escalate it once or twice and then the third time that's when you fully gotta run and it's escalated to the point where the cops are just done with you and telling you to step out and then you know then you're done and then after like a five ten minute pursuit you know well after like the five minute mark that's when the cops will will, will try to pitch you i'm not gonna say that they will pitch you because i still want i mean with five people i mean you need a video that's gonna be you know 30 to like 40 minutes you know so i mean me having just you know run and the cops pit me and whatnot then you know that, that that's boring but basically it will be planned on when you do a civilian and it's your turn to record. Basically, at the end of the recording, you'll basically, you know, when you get caught by the cops, which there will be a, there'll be some rules I have whatnot, which yeah, I don't want people killing cops. And if there's, like, less pe if there's, like, say we got five people in and then there's four cops, I would say you could kill one cop and that's it. And if you kill any more, come on, you're, there's not many people on, but, you know. There will be rules I make, and we'll, we'll figure it out all out in the future, you know. But, yeah, that's basically what I have planned and what I want to do. But, other than that, um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Play my music for my intro and whatnot. And I'm going to showcase every single car I hear. Little, little, tongue twister. <laughs> I have here for the server. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And I can't wait to see what this is going to be here in the future. So until next time, if you're liking what you're seeing, if you liked any of my other videos back in the past and you're in your back, thanks for watching this. And I hope to, you know, see you guys here in the future if this ever becomes a live server. I can't wait to see what the nonsense with this, you know, fun, ridiculous Code Zero roleplay is going to be when we're just in here having some ridiculous RP and just having fun, you know, and then not doing the legit RP like we would in our servers that we do plan and whatnot, you know, and just doing it for fun and whatnot, but yeah, and if you're liking any of the RP videos that I've been doing, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. So, here's what we have for vehicles in my server, ladies and gentlemen.